me start by welcoming everyone to today's lesson in how to download the WD My Cloud Desktop for the iPhone. Let me say up front that the way I do this when it comes to an iPhone is the same way you will do it if it's for an iPod or an iPad. And it's also the same if you have an Android device like an Android phone or a tablet. The only difference is that when I download an app for the iPhone, I go to the Apple Mac store where if I do it for an Android, I'll download at the Google Play App Store. So here, as we can see here, here is my desktop and you can see here down below at the right, I have my app store and I'll press that. And now I'm getting into Apple Mac's app store where you can see here below, I have five points where I have one called Featured, Top Charts, Explore, Search, and Updates. And what I want to do is I want to search the App Store so I can find the WD My Cloud desktop. So up here, you can see there is a magnifying glass where it says Search, and there I'll press. And here you can see what I will start writing here is the WD, and it nearly writes itself because here it has already gone in and found what is in there in regards to the WD and apps. And the one I'm interested in is the first one, the WD My Cloud. So I press that. And as we can see here, here's the app I'm interested in, the WD My Cloud. And you can see there's a little cloud with an arrow. If it's the first time you've been in here and you want to download and you've never done it before, it will say get. But because I have downloaded before, because I have, I have downloaded, installed it, and tested it, and got familiar with it, then I deleted it so that I could show you guys how it's done. So then I have a cloud instead with an arrow down. That means that I have downloaded, and it is a free app. So what I do is that I just press in that little cloud with an arrow, and then I just wait patiently. It has to be said that I'm demonstrating this on an iPhone 4S, so it could be a little bit slow. Then you see this little circle here. You could stop it at any time just by pressing that little circle as we see it. But it's also an indicator how far it is in regards to the downloading. So you can see here with the line in the circle, it gets thicker and thicker, or it gets thicker, but 360 around. And as soon as it has completed the full circle, then the app is downloaded, then it has to be installed. So we just have to be a little bit patient. But as soon as it installed, then there will be an icon saying open. And you can see this says here. So I'll just press open. And this is the startup window when you get to the WD My Cloud. It has to be said that yes, you can download the app, but it is only good if you have been out purchasing a WD My Cloud hard drive so that you have your own cloud at home and that you have to purchase first, then you have to set it up and then you download these apps. And you can download apps to either desktop, to laptops, to tablets, to phones, even to the iPod. There's apps that makes it possible for you to manage the daily interaction with your cloud. So just that you're aware. So what you have here is that you have the Western Digital User License Agreement. And I must admit, I haven't read all of it. So I'll just go down here and press Accept. And then we are ready to set it up with our cloud or my cloud. So that will be the next lesson. And I hope to see you there. So I hope this gave you an idea how and where you can download the WD My Cloud desktop for your iPhone. And like I said before, you can do the same for the iPad, for the iPod. And it has also to be said, if you do it for an Android, either phone or tablet, you go into Google Play, the App Store, and there you can download and it looks similar, but the program look very familiar. And that's the way you will do it there.